hello welcome back it's monday hello hello i'm so excited to be filming again because i took like a little week off i just uploaded my birthday weekend vlog but life was getting a little hectic i was going through a few things i had to work out on my own so i just like was dealing with that but it's a beautiful day it's gorgeous it's florida it's wonderful and um happy monday so i am you know headed off to the gym about to start leg day because you know that's what we do on mondays now it was a fantastic birthday weekend i drank a lot of margaritas i had some champagne some chips and salsa a burger a cupcake some vegan frosting i was living my best life and it like worked out because normally I can't have a lot of those things. A lot of places don't sell them or offer them. So the fact that I could almost eat complete cheat meals and still stick to like my allergies and dietary restrictions, I was, I was, I was stoked. But all that salt, all those chips and margaritas and everything like that really made me feel bloated and a little sluggish. So today is all about getting super on track. We are going to do the darn thing. We're gonna eat so clean. I plan on going on like a little cut. I wasn't eating like a lot or in a surplus, but there are some things I could cut back on like peanut butter is my weakness and stuff like that because I I am ready to conquer even more goals. So, with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get started. just finished with a little late day cooled off with a walk because I started walking after my leg day since I do sprints now Monday through Thursday so I just walked it off I'm about to go home eat breakfast and get ready to do some more work but before I start talking about bloating and tips and stuff like that the first thing you need to realize is that if you have a binge weekend if you have like a bad week of eating or you felt like you ate more salt or more carbs or anything like that do not I repeat do not beat yourself up on it because you're going to get so discouraged you don't think anything's like worth it working towards it trust me I know I used to do the same thing all the time so when in doubt don't beat yourself up it's okay to enjoy life it's okay to you know splurge here and there don't regret it 
you're living your life, you're enjoying your time, you're making memories. Decided to switch up this location. I'm kind of over sitting at the pool. It's nice and peaceful and outside and thought I'd switch it up a little before I further discuss my tips on loading and how to come back from a little, little binge weekend. So as I said before, you cannot be guilty. It is okay to indulge once in a while. The moment you are guilty and the moment you feel like it's a lost cause and you're always gonna feel this way or eat this way or whatever, you're setting yourself up for failure. So go into the next day, whether like, let's say you binged on a weekend and then you come Monday, the first thing, you gotta get your mindset right. Like, okay, we're back to normal. I'm just, I'm feeling refreshed. I'm gonna go after this. Usually the day before, like the day I'm kind of bloated. So on Sunday, I was snacking like Friday and Saturday. So on Sunday, when I started really feeling it, I made sure to drink a ton of water. I usually try and drink a gallon of water a day. My hands and my toes can swell a little based on my salt consumption which kind of sucks because I love salt. I, I do. Like I am more of a salty girl than a sweet girl. <laughs> After you know eating a ton of salt, eating a ton of sugar, you want to drink a ton of water. Start pushing that out of your system. The salt consumption is like dehydrating your body basically because it wants to hold on to whatever water it can. So start drinking the water and flushing that system out and you'll start feeling a lot better. I promise you, like I swear, water is the key. If we're not allowing like our body to process that out of our system, oftentimes we get into this like, I'm craving more carbs, I'm craving more sugars. So water is going to help you kind of reset, reset and restabilize. Another thing you, do not because I've been there. I've been there when I was like overweight and I would binge a lot of food or eat too much or whatever. I felt so disgusted with myself, so guilty with myself that I thought, I thought I had to starve myself the next day to make up for it. You do not need to starve yourself the next day. You do not need to eat like half the calories you normally eat. You do not need to make up for what you ate. You do not need to strenuously exercise to try and get those calories back. And there's no reason why you should overwork yourself or feel like you have to compensate for having a good time and just enjoying your life. There's nothing wrong with that. Another thing is that just because you ate all those calories, you ever hear someone, you know, go, oh, I gained like 10 pounds this weekend or I gained this amount of weight. You cannot gain weight that quickly. It takes time to gain that weight. You may like add a few pounds on the scale because of the water weight, but you cannot gain serious amount of pounds unless one, you are consistently eating over your calories, you're eating in a calorie surplus, whether you're bulking or just like YOLO you cannot gain like several pounds within a weekend and that is why I also say this is kind of a separate tip that I've given in like a different different video but don't weigh yourself just don't don't I don't like I have not weighed myself in literally a year I waited like a year both times I was successful on a fitness journey and I'm not saying that you can't weigh yourself to see progress I can't I'm not saying you can't check in more often than like I did, but I am saying that don't be so reliant on a number and what you see because if you have this binge weekend and you're eating a lot of salt and sugar and your body's holding on to water weights, when you go on the scale on Monday morning, you're probably going to be two to three pounds heavier than you were and you're going to assume that you permanently have gained that weight rather than like accepting the fact that it's water weight. Like your body fluctuates throughout the day. Like I can get on the scale first thing in the morning and let's say like, um, last time I weighed myself, I was like 147 or, or somewhere around there. 
And then like by the end of the day, I'm like 150. That's because I ate, I drank water. Like that is just my body. That is, that is how our bodies work. So that like adds on to don't be so guilty. Don't be so hard on yourself. And it is okay to have a sweet treat here and there. Like it's not going to make you gain 10 pounds in one day. Okay. Let's, that's the tea. Okay, so there are several other tips that you can do to help either alleviate or prevent unnecessary bloating. Your body is naturally going to bloat up after you are eating and drinking throughout the day, but there are several ways that you can kind of avoid or alleviate some of that. Carbonated beverages. Anytime I'm in the mood for anything, I try and drink water. If you aren't like the biggest water person, there are some like healthier options in, in terms of drops and flavors that you can add into the water. But if you drink any type of carbonation, just know that those bubbles in that air is going to help bloat you even more. So you want to kind of avoid that if you want to kind of not feel as bloated. I'm not saying you can't drink your flavored carbonated water, but that's going to help bloat you. Another thing, a huge thing to take into consideration is potential food allergies or food sensitivities. Like I'm extremely allergic to dairy and I'm allergic to gluten. Being that I'm allergic to dairy and I get hives and everything, I always stay away from it, but there are some things that like I'm not even aware that has it. And same thing with gluten, I kind of chose to not eat gluten, but then I would, you know, here and there have some because it was more of a choice. But after seeing how my body reacts, my body gets very bloated, it hurts, there's a lot of pressure on my abdomen, and I do not like that at all. So I stood clear of any of that. So if you're like bloating all the time, if you are just feeling like pain and pressure all the time, you may have a food sensitivity or a potential allergy. So it may be something looking into because your body should not be like overly like bloated and pressure and hurting all the time that suggests like further problems within your gut health and you might want to consult a doctor on that one another thing that helps alleviate bloating is you know fiber fiber and like probiotics are going to help push out more toxins it's going to help give you a healthy colon and if you're feeling like pressure and constipated or just like you know that's going to add to the bloating so more fiber more probiotics it's gonna get kind of get everything flowing you know out of your system i'll just leave that one at that one of the best things aside from water is actually working out sweating it out whether you are walking doing yoga going to the gym even if you feel very crappy very groggy very gross and don't want to do it trust me push through like you have no idea how many times like I feel so gross or bloated after I eat like a lot of something my immediate thoughts is drink water and go for like a walk or a jog or you don't have to do crazy exercise crazy strenuous exercise but moving your body and sweating out like those extra salts those toxins it's like the same thing moving and grooving your body to release I thought I had a word that rhymed, but to release the toxins. Okay, okay, just move and groove, exercise, do what you can, stretch, I don't know. My main sticklers though are always water, moving your body, adding more fiber and probiotics. Those are like my four go-tos. Anytime I'm bloated or feeling gross, I always drink kombu kombuka, kombucha. I do drink those sometimes and they are so yummy and always make me feel better. On top of all those tips, there are also like a ton of vitamins and supplements. You don't have to take them, but there are a lot of different supplements out there that actually help promote gut health. A lot of like greens and herbs and stuff like that that help you alleviate more bloating and keep your gut healthy. I know it's hard like when you wake up feeling that bloat, feeling the salt, feeling just the, the things you ate and you can feel it in your body and how you're feeling and you don't feel good and then you get discouraged and you're in lower energy and a crappier mood. So 
So always just reset. Do exactly what you did before. Trust me, and try to eat the next day as clean as possible. The cleaner you eat, the better you're going to feel, even if it's after a gross binge eating episode. Start off fresh. It is okay to have setbacks. It's really the bottom line is if you are nervous about binge eating and like nervous if after a weekend bender you're going to continue on that track i understand i used to be the exact same way i used to that's why my first fitness journey was so restrictive on myself because i was so nervous to eat sweets in case i wouldn't be able to stop and like gain weight so that's why i was so restrictive so then it comes down to really looking at your relationship with food and reevaluating. like what makes you feel good what does not make you feel good if you want to be in a happier brighter mood and raise your vibration and you know go after your goals and feel energized and motivated constantly you have to reevaluate your relationship with food why you eat certain foods is it to actually enjoy yourself are you saying like yes i want to enjoy myself or are you always like looking for something to snack on to fill a void within yourself i don't know but that's like one of my biggest tips in getting on track or losing weight in general is like you have to reevaluate your relationship with food and if you are so guilty about you know the way you ate a certain weekend you're just going to continue eating that way because you're not going to see like you're not going to see how you can turn that around if your relationship with food is bad if you have a healthier relationship with food you're going to easily be able to get back on track you know the following week because you realize hey i went out i enjoyed myself i ate some good food i made some memories with family with friends if you have a healthier relationship with food, you are going to see it as, okay, I ate what I ate, let's get back to it. Like, food is fuel. Your body runs on fuel. It, sometimes, you know, you go out, you have that burger, and having a burger isn't necessarily a wrong choice. It's not. And we have to stop saying that these foods and these things are wrong choices. Now, it's your choice as to what you want to continue fueling your body with. So if after a weekend you're not feeling it, you know, like, okay, I need to fuel up on some, you know, veggies and stuff. Those are kind of my tips and tricks to help alleviate bloating. Um, those are my tips and tricks, kind of how to get back track after like a weekend bender, a weekend, like, you know, just enjoying yourself, living your life. So I hope you find those tips useful. If any questions or comments or tips or anything you like to do, feel free to message me on Instagram. Feel free to comment down below. I love reading the comments. I love responding to y'all. I love talking to y'all. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a beautiful day.